Wow. Hello everybody and welcome back to WA UK. As you can see I'm out in my back garden today making a couple of videos. Hopefully you've seen the one that I made previous. Uh, if not I'll put a link just up to the right hand side of your screen. Click on that, it'll bring down a menu, click on a video, you can go and watch that. Uh, basically in that video I was trying to make some fatwood. Um, I'd seen on YouTube that, that basically uh, you, you can imitate fatwood by simply uh, melting some candle wax and essentially boiling some sticks in the candle wax, not quite boiling. But go back and watch the video and you'll be able to see what it's all about. Well, this video basically is, is, is fire lighters. Um, I have a good friend that works for a fire lighter company and he gives them to me much like this. Um, if you don't want to buy fire lighters, you can make your own natural fire lighters uh, using cotton wool balls, which kind of look like this. You can get them in every country, cost a couple of quid for a big bag, and uh, petroleum jelly or wax. Well, seeing as I've still got some sticks boiling in wax at the moment, what I thought is I could top up my uh, my fire lighting bag. Basically, this is the bag that lives in my, um, in my backpack that I take camping with me. In there, as well as some, some artificial fire lighters, if you will. I mean, these are artificial as well because I've made them, but homemade fire lighters. I always carry some cotton wool balls just in there um, that are soaked in three different things. I mean, the darker ones you can see just there are soaked in olive oil. Being Greek, I always have loads of olive oil around the house. There's some soaked in Vaseline or petroleum jelly. And there's some soaked in there in candle wax as well. So I thought instead of wasting the excess wax when I finished doing the fat wood, I could just quickly dump some of the cotton wool balls in wax. Just literally one, two, three and pull them straight out and make some. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to light uh, an artificial fire lighter, one of these, and I'm going to light one I've made and see which one burns longer. Now no doubt chemicals will burn a lot longer than some, I mean, petroleum jelly. It's kind of natural, uh, but no doubt it's going to burn longer, but we'll see. Uh, so I'm hoping you stay tuned and uh, watch the conclusion of this video a little bit later on. Uh, I will show when my sticks have stopped boiling, which will probably be tonight. Um, glorious day today here in Lancashire. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping once my sticks have finished boiling, or cooking or whatever it is, whatever the technical phrase is, um, I'm just going to quickly make some of those cotton wool balls. I'll bring you back, show you how I'm doing that. And uh, yeah, right at the end of the video we'll show how the, the man-made or, or spee-made fire lighters compared to the ones I've got off my friend who works in a fire lighter company. As I say, I'm not claiming to be as good as the company. Obviously, they make a business out of it. But um, yeah, they will, be they, they will be sufficient. And what's more, my fire lighters, you'll be able to light with the spark off a ferro rod, which also I carry in my, in, in my fire, fire making bag. Anyway, guys, I will fetch you back when I've got a little bit more to show you. Okay, guys, I'm hoping you can just see me just in the shot just here. Uh, all I've got here is I've got some melted wax just in a container just bubbling away happily. I have got a piece of wood that I'm making into fat wood in there at the moment, so just ignore that for the time being. I just want to show you how I make my um, cotton, wool, cotton wool fire starters. So again, that is just normal candle wax that I bought from a pound shop. Uh, go back and watch a previous video and you'll see how much I paid for them uh, and what they basically are. You'll see them in their packets. Uh, all I'm going to do, cotton wool ball, pair of tweezers, one, two, three, pop it out, drain off the excess, and then I've just got a little stool down here covered in, um, in some tin foil that I'm just going to put them on to dry. I'm just going to do half a dozen of these just to top up my, my fire starting bag. One, two, three. Three is possibly too long to be fair because I can just see them just take all the wax on board. What you kind of want to do is give it a coating on the outside but keep it fluffy on the inside so when you pull it apart and you rip, rip it open as it were it'll take a spark and fire up straight away so I'm, this time I'm going to go just for a couple of seconds one two and let it drain off pop it on there to dry I'll do another three quickly then I might need to melt a few more candles just to do the last of my wood one two very windy today in Lancashire uh, I wanted to do this in the field if I'm honest but there was no way I was going to be able to sustain a flame in the, in the middle of a field. One, two. Just going really quick now just to make some a little bit less. Obviously with these being coated in wax they burn for quite a long time. Right, last one. 
one, two. And I basically use the same me method when I'm using petroleum jelly. Uh, just, just simply a couple of seconds in there, try and get them coated but not saturated. And uh, that's how I make them. Now once these dry off just here, you can see in the corner of your screen, I'll bring you back and I'll compare them against a, a, an artificial firelighter uh, or a company made firelighter and see how they burn and see which one burns for longer. Right guys, I've quickly brought you back just to show you the wax was starting to burn a little bit and get a little bit dark. You can see it's smoking quite a bit there. So uh, what I've done is I've taken two large tablespoons of petroleum jelly and just mixed them in there as well. So um, I mean I've got, I don't know if you can see behind me, just, just there where my finger is. There's the ones just dipped in wax, just drying. All I'm going to do now, instead of throwing this wax and this petroleum jelly away, I'm just going to quickly whack out a load of them. I'm going to turn the heat off and just put them over there to dry. But that's going to be a mixture of petroleum jelly and wax, uh, which we can also use in the experiment. And, uh, you know, we, we could compare the wax, the wax and petroleum jelly and the fire lighter. All right, guys, I'm going to do this off camera because I'm going to do it as quick as I can and I don't want the camera in the way and get splashed with wax and whatnot. So uh, I will fetch you back to conclude the video uh, well, in a second for you, it's going to be probably a good hour for me. All right, guys, see you soon. All right, guys, good hour later. Uh, you've just caught me bagging everything up and packing everything away. Just wrote a little label on there. Wax and PJ, petroleum jelly and today's date. And uh, yeah, I'm just, just literally bagging them all up. Four safe storage and little zip tie bags. And here's somebody coming to visit. Oh, where would I go? Putting approximately nine in each one, just because that's the way it worked out, basically. So that's that one done. Squeeze as much air out as I can. And tie it up. And just in case you're wondering why I'm placing them on the on the hop-up like this, it's just so I can take a photo for, for the old Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, Make sure you click into my banner, go to my home screen on the YouTubes, click on the banner and just click on my Instagram, I'll take you straight down and you can just follow me, nice and simple. Okay, the conclusion of our video guys. So there, obviously, we've got the fire lighter, you can see that clearly. This one is just the pure wax cotton wool ball. It's dried really well and I doubt I'm going to be able to break that and fluff it up. Let's just try. So I've obviously held that in too long, that's my mistake, that's more my bad, Let's hopefully that'll take a spark. And this final one was literally a dunk, it was just a dunk and a pull out, so I guarantee I'll be able to pull this one apart. And fluff it up, it should have a soft centre this one, which it does. So the idea behind these is you don't soak them long enough so they go like that and you can't pull them apart. You soak them just long enough so you can pull the fibres apart so you've got something to take the spark. Because, of course, the whole point of these is to be able to light them with a ferro rod. So, ferro rod versus the fire lighter. I don't think this is going to go well, but we'll give it a go. I think we're going to be there all day, to be fair. So let's swap these down a little bit. Let's try and light this one with the ferro rod. Took straight away. Oops, that actually took off that, so that was my bad, but I'm not going to refilm it. And then finally, obviously they've got a couple of second head start. So again, we've got pure wax, wax petroleum jelly and the fire lighter which has actually gone out already. Not any, and it's gone out again. And it's gone out again. So already in a survival situation or in a hard to light situation, these two are winning for me already because they've taken a spark off the ferro rod. This is proven to be a pain in the ass to light. It has gone out again, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it over to there, so it's got a constant flame. 
let's do a bit of cheating. Let's push it there so it's got a constant flow. And let's see, just out of curiosity, which one's going to go out first. Now I personally think how this is going to turn out is the firelight is going to burn the longest. Uh, closely followed by the pure wax, because that's soaked, absolutely drenched, to the point of it went solid. And uh, then I think finally it's going to be the petroleum jelly wax cotton wool ball, because it just wasn't soaked as much. But nevertheless it was soaked enough to get your fire going. The heat coming off all three of these is sublime. But yeah, I think it's going to be last the longest, second longest, and not the longest. The least, rather. This is going to melt my camera, so I'm probably going to move it back just a tad for you. And angle this forward so you can see what's going on. Are they a viable substitute? Yes. They're probably better. Well, you can see the winds today. And they're not going out by a little bit of wind. Are they a viable substitute? Yes. To be fair, I'd probably use them as a replacement. I'm going to keep the cameras running. And you can keep watching that. And we'll see if... Wax keeps up to fire lighter. So I think the middle one's gonna be going out pretty soon. Again, when I was making this, I proper held in for, probably held it in rather, for about three seconds. Uh, this one was literally a dunk. I held it with the same tweezers as you saw me use and it was literally just so it wasn't fully submerged. I left the top bit where the tweezers were out of the wax so it had a little bit to fluff up if you know what I mean. Um, so, so that's the difference between the two. As I say, the, uh, the, the wax and petroleum jelly I don't expect to last as long as the wax. Some heat coming off that. I am going to... Um, leave you watching that while I pack some of this stuff away because I've still got stuff everywhere. I'll take my knife and my ferro rod in, indoors, give the knife a quick wipe and you can continue watching that. I mean if you don't want to watch it obviously just, just drag your little uh, fast forward bar as it were at the bottom, just drag it to the last couple of seconds of the video and you'll see which one wins. So as you've been watching this for six and a half minutes, what I'll do here is I'll uh, put it double time so it'll go a lot quicker. Um, I won't stop the camera or, or show you, um, stop, sorry, I won't stop the camera so you don't think there's any tomfoolery going on. All I'll do is I'll fast forward it so it's one continuous thing. So uh, you'll just watch it in times two or times four speed. <laughs> Slow it down and bring you back. Right, now each one of these has been burning for over seven minutes each. If you haven't got your sticks together and you haven't lit your fire within seven minutes. Um, yeah, I think you should pursue a different hobby. Or pursue another fire lighting method. Maybe a flamethrower. Uh, middle one's looking a bit puny now. It's about to go out. It's on its last final few breaths. I dare say the only thing keeping it alight is the flames off the other ones keep keep relighting it. But on either side they're still going quite strong. And I'm starting to think the wax cotton on one wall is going to um, keep up with the fire lighter. Maybe even beat it. But yeah I'll keep it going. I'll speed it up again. I'm sorry if it's gone. Um, oh, and that said the middle one's just gone out. Uh, that said I'll uh, speed it up again and you can keep watching and see who's going to be um, 
second and first place. Taking so long to go out, I've gone and cooked a pizza and I'm eating, starving. I don't know if you saw Dog Doggo sneaking into frame there. Doggo's about because there's food about. So I've been filming this segment now for 11 minutes, just over, and they're both still burning. So I think they've been burning a good 10 minutes. Okay, this segment's been filming for 13 minutes now. Um, that one's getting puny, it's about to go out. Firelighter, as I suspected, was going to outlast. But are they a viable substitute? I mean, you guys decide. I think they're, um, they're actually better because you can light them with a ferro rod. Um, yeah, that, as you saw to start off with, would not light. So, um, yeah, just gone out now. He's just, oh no, about to go out now. He's on his last few breaths. Uh, whereas this one's still going. But yeah, as I said, for me, these two are winners over this, even the middle one. Um, in fact, I'd give the middle one the first place because it fluffed up. That one second place because you could probably cut it in half and make it fluff up if you really, really wanted to and tried hard. And this one for me is the last. Um, now, as I say, I've got a few of these, so I'll probably just use these when I'm out vamping or out with the, with the full rig. And I'll use these for my lightweight camping um, just because they're a better substitute, if you ask me. Anyway, guys, I hope this has been educational for you. Uh, it certainly has for me. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed these, these last two videos uh, that I've made for you. Um, yeah, and when I come up with... Um, something similar and such some ideas i mean um yeah I'll, I'll i'll put them on film again and indeed if you've got any ideas of another one i could try please leave it in the, in the comments below um yeah I'll, I'll do anything i can i mean as it happens these were very 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 cheap to, to actually do um took virtually no money at all i think i could i could have done them both with with 10 pounds but uh yeah if oh, they've just both literally gone out within seconds of each other if you've got any ideas uh, or, or any uh, suggestions of, of another similar sort of thing I could do versus man-made versus company-made, uh, yeah, please do leave them in the description below. Okay, guys, thank you for joining me today, and until next time, you all be safe.